Hey there, I'm Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Alvarez Baritone ABT60 guitar. I just recently got this, actually uh, several months ago, and this is just my first opportunity to actually do a review on this. I am absolutely in love with this guitar. Uh, originally I started off looking at a, um, a competitor's version of this that was about $6,000, and I said that I was going to get it because I loved the tone of it so much, but I really did not want to spend $6,000 on a guitar that wasn't vintage in some way. So um, so I got this, and uh, after reading uh, some very favorable reviews on it, and so I was very excited about it, and in fact, all the reviews were right, and this guitar is amazing. Um, it, the MSRP on it is $599, and I think I purchased it for $399 or maybe even a little bit cheaper, but um, $399, the thing is a, an absolute amazing guitar. I've never had a guitar that was $399 or lower that played as well as this. It's an absolutely amazing guitar. So let me tell you a little bit about this. I'm, I'm actually, this is straight off their website, so if anything's wrong here, um, it's, this is straight off of Alvarez's website here, okay? So um, this is from their Alvarez Artist Series, which, um, I think that's what the, that AA up there at the top is. And I'm not sure what that is other than uh, their Alvarez Artist. Maybe it's a, a more affordable version or uh, a higher version. I just don't know. You'll have to look on, on that. Okay, uh, the top wood. So this top part here is Solid A Sitka Spruce. Okay, that's the top, what we call the top of the guitar. Uh, the back and sides are mahogany. Um, the shape is uh, what they call baritone, but it's like, um, so here's my... Um, my 200, my J200, and you can see they're very similar in size. So if you have a J200 or you've ever played one, um, they're very, very similar in size. It's jumbo, okay? Uh, but they're calling it, they're calling the, the shape here baritone. Obviously, it's a baritone guitar. So instead of E, A, D, G, B, E, we're starting from a low uh, B. Is that correct? I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yes, that's that's correct. So, um, so basically the same tuning of the guitar, except we're going to be down uh, to a B. So this is going to be a low B. That's going to be a high B. Okay. And so what's really cool about that is that you can play. And have that nice rich. Uh, almost bass guitar type of sound. So you could do some really cool things if you were um, wanting to do some finger picking as well, like um Almost sounds like I've got a bass player playing with me. Um, low register, it just gives you this nice big sound. The whole, the whole body just vibrates, okay? Um, I was just checking to see if we've got a, a peg there for a strap, and we do, um, because some acoustic guitars don't have that, so it has that. Uh, fingerboard is rosewood. The headstock is, a headstock plate, they're saying, is rosewood, so, um, yeah. The headstock is rosewood. The nut and saddle uh, are real bone, and I'm pretty sure You'd have to talk to someone who knows more about guitar specifics. I just play them. Um, you'd have to talk to someone who knows more about the specifics about it, but this is called real bone, which I don't think is real bone, uh, oddly enough. I think it's a, a uh, fabrication called real bone, but it's like bone, except it didn't have to come out of an animal or a person or, ooh, a person, yeah. Um, maybe in some other countries. Um, so it's not made of bone, it's made of real bone, and I'm pretty sure that that is a synthetic material, but it sounds absolutely marvelous. So um, yay, we didn't have to um, take a bone from something. And a tuner, the tuners are a premium die cast, so it doesn't have any electronics in it. Um, you know, if you were thinking a tuner, it doesn't have a built-in built tuner, which I'm totally fine with. Um, it has primary die cast, or, or I'm sorry, premium die cast tuners. Uh, they've, they've held real nice. I really like the way they feel. Um, so uh, the binding is saying uh, ivory ABS. I have no idea what that means. You may know what that means. And the strings are uh, the Dario EXP, which are real nice strings. I like them a lot. 
Um, obviously, pick guard, um, little um, pearl inlay here, and just the whole thing. Uh, sounds and feels absolutely magnificent. So if you're looking for a baritone guitar and uh, and you've got four bills, this is the one to get. I don't know of anything else that's this affordable and it sounds this absolutely amazing. I don't even think there's anything this affordable. So um, they haven't paid me to do this review. I just did it because I love this guitar and I need to pick it up more. So there you go. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm Eric Andreas, your guitar sage. I'm here to help you with anything about guitar. So if you need me, you know where to find me, Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. Links are below, yourguitarsage.com. You can get a free ebook as well as being privy to all these books as well when I write those. I provide them free for my email list off of Amazon uh, several times a year. Check out your uh, guitarsage.com for my blogs and what have you and unstoppableguitarsystem.com links below if you'd like to get into my super system for one dollar. I'm Eric Andreas, your guitar sage. Please spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another because we can change this world one person at a time starting with moi. See ya. Oh,